Hey there, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith here on Facebook with an update on what we're seeing with the severe weather threat for our area. We had a little audio problem earlier, so we're testing the audio now to see if it's working here on our Facebook stream. And also I wanted to give you an update with audio so you didn't just have to watch it on mute. Uh, we are expecting to see a level two slight risk of severe weather in our area with the primary threat being Friday afternoon and early evening. We'll see a second round early Saturday morning and the primary threats are going to be gusty winds with the possibility of some small hail and also we could see isolated tornadoes. So never a good situation there. Here's a look at what we see as far as the potential timing with our high res future cast here. And we're gonna start it out with where we are right now this afternoon. Nice day out there today. Temperatures getting up into the 70s, but looking at the timing on any possible storms in the area, we've got some light rain up into Clark County, up into Washington County, and we'll continue to see light showers. This is all Friday morning. Around lunchtime, some storms will fire. Most of those should be to our north and west, but into the afternoon, the mid to late afternoon, this is two o'clock. This is where we may see some problems here. At, to the north and west of Interstate 65 and to the north and west of Mobile, up into Greene County and George County at around two o'clock in the afternoon, and then taking it forward through the late afternoon here, there is the possibility of seeing those cells that uh, will be a little bit stronger in nature. So I'm gonna start at the top, run you back through it here, and this is the future cast for Friday morning at 730. Then as we go through the lunchtime hour, we'll see some pop-up showers and storms. But the main threat right there, 215 and then through the four o'clock hour, we could see some strong to severe cells in our area. This is going to be ahead of the main front and coinciding with the heating of the afternoon with afternoon instability and a pretty strong onshore flow. And it's actually keeping the worst of it a little north and west of Mobile, this particular model, but just one model could always be off by uh, 30 or 40 miles or so. And as we look at what's happening through the eight o'clock hour, still a threat for some strong storms around Mobile. And then we get into the overnight where this thing kind of wants to wash out, but late into the night and into the early morning hours, we have the possibility of a squall line forming up starting at around 3 a.m. And that threat will continue through daybreak Saturday morning by about eight o'clock. Most of the leading edge of this stuff's gonna be out of the picture and we'll be able to enjoy the rest of our weekend. So. Just wanted to give you an update here on Facebook since our last Facebook update was not distributing the audio. We have a level two slight risk for severe weather. It's a storm tracker alert day for Friday, Saturday. Primary threat is going to be Friday evening and then again early Saturday morning. Most of this should be out of the way for the rest of the weekend once we get past that daybreak line of storms on Saturday morning. So that's an update. Of course, I'm going to have complete coverage coming up on Fox 10 News. We've got meteorologist Matt Barentine at 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock. I'll be on at 5, 9, and 10 p.m. tonight to take you through the latest forecast models as we get a little closer to a spring storm system expected to impact the area tomorrow and tomorrow night. Thanks for joining us.